We can only truly care for what we know. And the fact is, most people don't really know the Everglades. To be fair, I'm still learning new things about this place. Unbelievable. And I've spent countless hours in this landscape. What I've come to realize is that it isn't just one of the world's greatest natural treasures. It is the soul of South Florida. I was 14 years old when I picked up a camera and started photographing the woods and swamps of my hometown in Gainesville. The next year, while paddling with my dad in the 10,000 Islands, I had my first handshake with the Everglades. I have never shaken that childhood fascination, and I've made it my mission to capture images that represent this place and all the unique heartbeats who call it home. I've traveled from the headwaters of this ecosystem at Lake Russell, photographing ancient cypress trees by moonlight. I've chartered helicopters to view the vast cypress domes and tree islands in the southern Everglades. I have followed the river of grass to its terminus, where fresh water meets salt in Florida Bay. To do this, I use whatever I can to get the shot, including drones and remote cameras. These tools allow me to get to places that I can't be physically, but ultimately, nothing beats being in the action. Every autumn, Millions of striped mullet migrate south into the Everglades. Millions. It is one of the largest migrations on planet Earth. As they move, they become a traveling buffet for resident species like tarpon, snook, jacks, and sharks. Tarpon famously explode out of the water in pursuit of their prey. I have countless images of this behavior. But I desperately wanted to photograph that decisive moment from underwater. It became one of the most challenging images to make. For weeks, I boated the shore and attempted to capture the shot. But each day brought a new challenge. Bad weather, turbid water, rough conditions. On top of it all, just swimming with them proved to be arduous. And just being in, in the water without being able to see any kind of rise in line, just not great. I couldn't take it. So I got sick. I started to think that this was just impossible. After two weeks of abuse, I got a call from my captain. Conditions were perfect. So I grabbed my gear and headed out. As I dove in and got my bearings, the light was good, the water was the clearest it had been in weeks, and there were tarpon all around. I fired shot after shot, but I couldn't quite get everything just right. The light was wrong, or the tarpon was just out of frame. Just when I thought I couldn't take any more, a flash of light caught my eye. I pointed my camera towards the sun and clicked the shutter. All right, mullet run, big success, incredible conditions. 
My man, Brian, thank you. Yeah, man. Great time. Great having you. Once again, <laughs> sorry for throwing up on your boat. Whoops, won't do it again. <laughs> With every journey, I discover pockets of hope where the old Everglades is alive and well. These areas fuel our resolve to keep working. Our goal isn't just to restore the watershed, but to ensure it stays restored. We are so lucky to live in this Eden, and I hope my work reminds others what we're fighting for and that it transports them into these landscapes so they can feel these places and be proud of our unique brand of wilderness, our beaches, our forests, our water, our future.